Okay, so another application for arithmetic sequences. We're trying to figure out, given a sequence, um, what's the total number of terms in that sequence? So a sequence doesn't have to go on to infinity. It can stop at some point. It doesn't have to be infinite. And so what this question is actually asking us to envision is if I start at negative 7 and my sequence continues until I hit 53, how many terms are there? And that dot 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 tells me there's a bunch missing in the middle and I don't know. So again, if it's helpful to visualize it, got my first term is negative 7, number 2 is negative 3, 1, sorry, 3 is 1, 4 is 5, then I've got a bunch I don't know, and then I've got a value of 53, but I don't know what the in value is there. That's what they're trying to get us to figure out, is that what term is my value going to be 53? So they've given me the first 4, but they haven't told me what term number the very last one is, and that's what we're trying to figure out. So similar to some of the other ways we've solved these problems, the first thing we're going to do is try to find the constant difference. So our constant difference, we should be looking for the difference between these. What am I increasing or decreasing in each time? If you're not certain, you can always take the second term minus the first term. So that would be negative 3 minus a negative 7, and that gives me 4, positive 4. If I'm at negative 7 and I add 4 onto it, I get up to negative 3. And if the negative numbers are confusing, take a look at this set up here. From 1 to 5, what am I doing? Plus 4. So some way you need to look at that and be able to find your d, and that can always be the second term minus the first term if you need to. So t2 minus t1 if you need to. Identify our first term. So we now know that d is equal to 4. My first term is equal to negative 7, so that's a. I've got d and a in the formula. So now I'm going to plug into my formula, and I also know what t sub n is. t sub n, because I don't know which term it is, is 53. That's that last one we're looking for. So my formula t sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. The last term in the sequence, I don't know what number it is in the sequence, but I know the value of it is 53, so t sub n is equal to 53, a is equal to negative 7, plus n, which I don't know, minus 1, bracket, times d, which in this case was 4. Now if you put this in the solver, you should be able to find what the value of n is. And in this case, when we put it through solver, or using algebra, both ways would be fine, you should get n is equal to 16. So we would say that there's 16 terms in the sequence, so a total of 16 terms in sequence. So that tells me that up here, that n is 16, and that this is now t sub 16 is equal to 53. So the 16th term in the sequence is equal to 53. Okay, so feel free to stop there, but if you want another example, I'll go through one more. Again, find the number of terms, so the total number of terms in the sequence. The first term here is 11. The last term here, which we don't know, is 116. So if you want to, we can kind of draw on our table on here. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. And then some term I don't know. In. I don't know what it is. So what am I going to do again? Find my constant difference, find d. So look to see if you can identify how these are changing each time. And in this case it's a bit obvious, but 11 plus 3 is 14, plus 3 gets me to 17, so I'm going to say d is equal to 3, a positive 3, because it's increasing. My first term is equal to 11, so I know a is equal to 11. And the t sub n the thing that I'm not sure exactly which term number it is, but I know the value of it is 116, the last term given to me. So in my formula, using this one here, I'm going to write it in. You don't have to write out the formula, but I'm going to just so you can see it a bit clearer. t sub n in this case is 116, is equal to a, which is 11, plus n that I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, minus 1, bracket, times d, which in this case was 3. And when you put this in the solver, we should get 
36. So we know there's 36 terms total. So again, the 36th term would have a value of 116. So give a go. See me if you've got questions, and yeah, get some practice done.